Hello kids. In the previous video, we learned to add and subtract money. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu together have collected rupees 100. Both of them have decided to eat delicious things today with that money. Both of them have come to Babban's ice cream stall first. Babban handed him the menu card of his stall. The menu cards have various ice cream names and their prices written in this way. Raju and Bablu first ate one choco bar ice cream and one vanilla ice cream. Then both of them got together and shared one orange candy. Now both of them are thinking how much they have to pay for the ice cream to Babban. Kids, can you help them? Come, let's solve it together. To know the total amount, we have to add the prices of all three ice creams. We will first write the price of all three ice creams in rupees and paise in this way. Now, we will add the amount of paise first. Can you tell the total amount of paise? Right! 50 paise. Then, we will add all the rupees. What is the total amount? Yes! 15 rupees. In this way, Raju and Bablu will have to pay 15 rupees 50 paise to Babban. He paid Babban for the ice cream and later reached Appu's sweet shop. They ate a stomach full of samosa and jalebi and barfi. If they gave Appu a total of 50 rupees 50 paise for all the things, so can you tell how many rupees are left with both of them now? First, we will find out the total amount spent by both of them. Children, can you add these two amounts and tell how much money Raju and Bablu have spent together? First, we will add the numbers written in paise. By adding 50 and 50, we get 100. Can we write 100 paise here? No. So, what should we do now? Kids, do you remember? How much is 100 paise worth? Right! 1 rupee. Therefore, we will write 100 paise as carryover in this number of rupees. And now, how much paise are left with us? Zero paise. Children, now can you add the total number of rupees? Well done, children. This is absolutely correct. 66 rupees in total. We have used addition to find these answers. In this way, Raju and Bablu spent a total of 66 rupees. Raju and Bablu had 100 rupees in the beginning. So can you tell how many rupees they have left now? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Wow kids, you have found the right answer. Raju and Bablu now have 34 rupees left. Children, we have used subtraction to find these answers. Both of them were full and they went for a walk. In this video, we learned to add and subtract money with some interesting examples.